Welcome, Kenneth and Carol. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a few questions for you. The first is, Ken, um, have you always been interested in photography? Have you worked in other mediums? Um, no, ever since I was a kid, photography has been uh, my passion. Um, it's, um, I guess it's a combination of uh, the creative aspect and the technical background that I've had. So you do have to uh, learn a lot. There's a lot of technical uh, aspects of photography, not only using the camera, but also in processing it. So for me, it was a, it's a very good uh, uh, expressive outlet that uh, probably utilizes the most I've got to offer. That's great. Um, so when we take a look at your work, it's, it's, it's very unique um, in terms of the way you photograph subjects. What, what artists have inspired you? Um, the, um, currently there's Cole Thompson, um, black and white photographer. Uh, he's, as a matter of fact, we just bought a couple of his pieces. He is really? a phenomenal photographer. Uh, his philosophy is basically he just shoots for himself. Uh, he doesn't care about, uh, uh, winning awards, getting into publications, um, and he's been extremely successful. Uh, another uh, photographer is out of Scotland. His name is Alistair Ben, and kind of the same, you know, philosophy. Uh, shoot, shoots what he loves. Um, just uh, is his his website is called Expressive Photography. So it's almost, you know, uh, says it all. And um, I've learned a tremendous amount. And one of the things I've learned is um, just photograph for yourself. And, you know, I don't have an Instagram account. I don't have, I don't have Facebook. I've got a website that eh, I don't think anybody actually ever goes to. So I guess instinctively I've always done that. Um, I just uh, see what appeals to me and, and that's what I shoot. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Ne Go ahead, Mamory. Sorry. Next. Hi, Carol. Um, I'd like to, you to answer the same question. This is Amory. I love your work. Um, and I want to know what artists have inspired you. And you're speaking to? To you. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amory. Yes. Um, yes. I love your work. Um, I, it's funny. I, have always like since I've been in high school loved Toulouse Lautrec because I just love the color and the energy, but um, mostly it's contemporary artists that I follow. Uh, here in New England, I find you don't have to go far. Um, I happen to belong to the Providence Art Club, and you get exposed to just a lot of people and a lot of their likes, and um, also the you know educational opportunities. And so I um, am especially kind of taken with Teresa Girard, who is out of um, North Kingston, and also William Kendall, who uh, uh, is out of um, Westport. And, you know, there's so many others um, at the club and people around Rhode Island and Massachusetts that I really kind of gravitate toward their work. Um, my early education, I did go to Rhode Island School of Design, but I was a night student and I was a late bloomer. Um, but since that time, you know, I get a lot of information that comes my way. And, you know, it's really hard to keep up. There's so many people that do some fabulous stuff. Um, but I also try to make sure that I temper it with, you know, just enjoying finding out what my true self is in terms of art. Um, so, you know, it's kind of that balance of respecting and enjoying someone else's work, but at the same time saying, what's my voice and what's in my heart and what do I want to put out there? So, um, you know, I kind of enjoy that challenge. Thanks. Thank you. Now, how do you think as a, as a couple that you're both, that you're both creating art, how do, how do you feel you influence each other? And if so, how? Well, if I can speak to that right off the bat. <laughs> I, think, I do think it's, um, it's great to have someone close to you 
uh, in your life that you can go to and say, you know, I have a painting like up on the easel going, I don't know where I'm going with this. Like, you know, give me some feedback. It is so like, so important. First of all, because I really respect Ken's opinion. And second, because um, it really helps me work things through. He brings to light some things that I don't always see. And um, it's so convenient. It really <laughs> is wonderful uh, to just say, excuse me, do you have a little time? Like he'll be sitting at his computer and he'll I'll just say, swing around and take a look at this. Um, so I think I'm more of a help to him. I mean, he's more of a help to me than I am to him. But um, it is really, to me, something I would have never dreamed would happen. And it's, uh, it's really helped us a lot, especially during this time of the pandemic. It's, it's uh, you know, we have to rely on one another a lot because we really are trying to remain safe. And so um, it's worked really well. And of course, so has a Zoom and a few other tools. <laughs> So I'll, I'll kind of switch it over here. So no question, it helps our relationship. Um, we have something uh, in common, even though it's, you know, different. Carol's, uh, you know, the painter and I'm a photographer. Um, but we have something to talk about. Um, there's the similarities and the differences that, you know, we can share with one another. Uh, it. I feel we're really fortunate that, you know, that we both share this passion and, and for both of us, it is a passion. Um, and it, it's just great. You know, I, I think it would be really difficult to, you know, get excited about my photography and uh, come home and, you know, come home to somebody who has no interest in it at all. And I just, it, it's, it's a, it's a treasure. It really is. And we love, we love going to museums and art galleries and openings together. You know, we yes. spend time looking over. We'll go around and then say, okay, what's your favorite piece? What do you think about this? And, <laughs> and it's like, it really is a great opportunity to kind of learn about the other person in an indirect way as well. So it is a gift. And, it's, yep. it's, and, it, and we also both enjoy it. It's not like you're saying, come on with me. We're going to look at, no. you know, the MFA. And we're gonna, we just, we both like different things, I think, um, but we really open each other's eyes up to, yes, to what's agree. there. So it is, um, yeah, it's something that I think we, we treasure a lot. Yep. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. This next question is for you, Ken. Um, we felt that your, the, the light in your photograph and the composition really strengthened it, and we wanted to know if there was some component of it that was staged, or were the children's expressions natural? <laughs> that that uh, that's an interesting photograph. Those are uh, some relatives of mine. Uh, we don't get to see them that often. Um, when you're shooting people, uh, you you know this this decisive moment. Um, but um, the only way I've ever found to capture it is to shoot in burst mode. Uh, so you keep uh, automatic focus going and continually shoot. And it's not until you actually get them, the images up on the computer that you see what you've captured. Um, and I, they, these girls were just running around doing their thing. Um, it was the last photographs of the day and um, they just were doing I captured what they were doing. Was there anything uh, I, scaring I was, them? Excuse me? Was there anything scaring them? They looked like frightened, particularly oh, the girl yeah. in the front. No. Um, as a matter of fact, the interesting thing is the girl that's in the front who's walking towards you. Yes. The most amazing thing about that and her expression is she is the most joyful, bubbly, happiest girl in the world. I don't think there's ever been another photograph of her with that look on her face, that dour look. Um, so if there was anything amazing about the photograph, it was just capturing that split second where she was just looking, she was just exhausted. I guess they, they were running around all afternoon and she just uh, had hit her limit. So um, I got fortunate, it's, it's potluck obviously. Yeah, it's interesting because the girls are very joyful, always happy, always just 
full of energy and dancing around. And when I saw that photo, I was like, what did you do here? You know, <laughs> but I think, I think you hit it right. Hitting the wall at that age, late in the afternoon after being like on a roll, I think that was just sort of, she, yeah. she said it in that, but it is kind of interesting how that worked out. It really is. And then with the black and white, it just makes it that, oh, yes. that much more. Yeah. yeah, it makes it more powerful. Yes, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. So, Carol, tell us about how you tell us about your work and how you entered the abstract world. Well, was it, it kind of a journey, was, uh, <laughs> or did you journey, start there? A journey, because for many uh, years I um, actually painted in pastel exclusively. Um, after I stopped going to school at night, you know, because in those days there was no time for anything else. I, I took up pastel and I really love the medium and I painted in pastel for, uh, and I say that passively because I haven't, I put them away, but that doesn't mean I, they won't come back out. But um, for uh, 25 years, and I think what you learn in terms of all of your basics, composition, palette, color, um, just the interplay of, uh, of, you know, yourself and, and what you're working on in terms of the, um, in terms of the easel or, you know, the, the kind of um, texture and the substrate you're using, all of that really influences me today because you don't put it all down when you decide to be more abstract. But um, the abstract thing was, a, well, about a few years ago when, <laughs> when I, retired and just said, I just have to let it rip. And it's been ripping and ripping more and more as time goes on. In fact, I just finished a 21 day intensive workshop online and um, it wasn't for abstract artists only, but it was so much about what you put on the canvas or the paper or whatever. You have to be so happy with it. You have to be so comfortable with it. You have to have fun with it because everyone will know if you're trying to copy, everyone will know if you're trying to be something that you're not with your art. So just let, let it come forth. And um, sometimes it gets a little crazy and I think, I don't know what's going on here, but I think it's just a growing and it's, it, it just needed to happen. So I was really, really doing mostly realistic work for many, many years. And then I've just started transition. The way I did that was going to mixed media, acrylic. I use a lot of collage and paper and, and um, adhere that. When I get frustrated, I might put a piece of paper on and then paint over that. And then something else comes forward. So I think it's a journey and it's a journey that I'm still on and will be for a very long time. Um, you know, in the back of us is like one of the pieces, uh, just a piece of one of the pieces, but you know, it might be, I use patterns, I use maps, I use all sorts of things along with paint and inks and, and um, all just different, um, different uh, tools. And um, so the, um, it's just been something that's going to happen. It needed to happen because I was getting a little bit like, burned out with being able to be as good. There are so many good artists out there and so many good pastel artists that I felt like, you know what, let me just go ahead and find my own muse. And um, I'm having a really good time. I'm just having a good time. We can tell. <laughs> that's well, great. I, it just feels right. And that's all. That's, uh, and you know, it's funny because Ken says, you know, what he's done well, he doesn't do any social media and his website, you know, he has a great one, but he says no one looks at it. Well, I'm in the process of doing a new website. I do social media. I do, you know, just Instagram and Facebook, but that'll keep you busy. That will. Mm -hmm. But these days, that's a way of communicating with other artists sometimes and, you know, getting some feedback. So it's all good. It's all good. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you at our virtual reception.